So there seem to be a lot of challenges thrown out by the Flat Earth community with large amounts of money, and this one was linked to my channel yesterday. $100,000 challenge to anyone that can complete my challenge. Now he mentions me by name in this video, stating I can't do his challenge. Well, I was only made aware of this video yesterday, and yes, I absolutely can do your challenge, and I have done it. So let's have a look at the challenge. Check it out. Here's a challenge. Using flight charts, you know, the only navigational maps that uh, pilots can use to navigate. The only ones that actually get them where they're going. Yeah, flight charts. Using flight charts. Travel from point A to point B. Make a 90 degree angle turn. Travel the same distance you did the first time from point B to point C. And then make another 90 degree angle turn. Travel the same distance you did in the first two legs and get home. Map that out using the only navigable the navigable the navigable I still can't say it navigable maps that we know. We can't use a globe to navigate, but we know that we can use flight charts to navigate. So, map that flight route. If you can do it, $100,000 to the winner. Whoever can do it. So let's take a look at the elements of his challenge. Number one, using flight charts, the only navigational maps that pilots can use to navigate the only ones that actually get them where they are going. So we need to use flight charts. Remember, we live in 2018 and paper charts for navigation went out of the professional cockpit a long time ago. These days, pilots use electronic flight charts. The electronic flight charts are the only navigational maps that pilots can use to navigate the only ones that actually get them where they are going. I have been using electronic flight charts for many years and that is what I will use for this challenge. And there are numerous apps out there that display electronic flight charts. One of the companies is Jeppesen. They have Jetview, we have this one on board and we also have Flight Mobile on our iPads and we use these charts to navigate and to get us where we are going. So for my challenge, I will be using the ForeFlight app, which is a professional aviation app that provides aviation charts that can be used for navigation. So let's take a look at the other requirements of the challenge. Number two, using flight charts, travel from point A to point B. Make a 90 degree turn travel the same distance you did the first time from point B to point C. Make another 90 degree angle turn, travel the same distance you did in the first few legs and get home. Map that out using the only navigable maps that we know. And for me, that is an electronic flight chart. He states we can't use a globe to navigate. Well, I disagree. Yes, you can use a globe to navigate because the electronic flight charts we use are based on the globe. Number seven, map that flight route. If you can do it, $100,000 to the winner. Well, yes, I have done it. So do you have your money ready? So this is my work iPad. And as you can see, I have a number of aviation apps installed. The first two, Jeppesen Flight Deck and ForeFlight, provide the electronic flight charts that we use to navigate. Now using ForeFlight, I have entered four coordinates, point A, point B, and point C, and then back to point A. And as you can see, that actually forms a nice triangle. And each of the turning points are at 90 degrees.
So that satisfies the turn. Now, if we have a look at the direction and the distances via the nav log, we can see very clearly that the first course from point A to point B has a direction of 180 degrees true and a distance of 5,401 nautical miles. The leg distance is there. We then go from point A to point B in a direction of 270 degrees true. So that was the 90 degree turn and travel the same distance, 5,401 nautical miles. We then make another 90 degree turn that puts us on a course of 360 degrees true and travel the same distance, 5,401 nautical miles to arrive back at the origin. So there is the challenge correctly mapped out on a flight chart that pilots use to navigate. The location, the first point A is 90 degrees north, zero west, so directly at the North Pole. The next point is right at the equator, zero latitude and zero west longitude. The next point is zero latitude and 89.85 degrees west longitude. And the final point is the origin back at the North Pole, 90 degrees north, zero west. Correctly mapped out with the 90 degree turns, 180, 270, 360, and each leg being the same distance, 5401 nautical miles. So $100,000, thank you very much. So Mr. Flat Out Hero, your challenge has been answered. The requirements, as you stated them, have been satisfied. It is now your turn to honour your challenge and pay me the $100,000. I plan to give half of that to the Westmead Children's Hospital and use the other half as prize money in future contests on this channel. So let's see if you're a man of your word and will honour your challenge.